Um, I did get a couple of questions on design, one of them being available static pressure and how to calculate that with air handlers. So what's interesting is, is um, people understand very easily finding component pressure losses when you're adding an A coil to a furnace, but they start to get confused when it comes to air handlers for some reason. So there's no component loss when you look at an air handler and the A coil is part of the box that ship with the blower. And what tends to happen is, is you end up with a lot of available static pressure. So guys that design around really high numbers like 0.7 or 0.8 for an ECM motor with an air handler tend to have really high available static, which means really high velocity and really high friction loss. So you're able to design around smaller ducts, but they tend to be noisy if you do this. Right. So the, the key when you're, when you're looking at available static pressure with component losses with air handlers is you're designing around a medium speed, probably 0.5 inches of water column to start. And then you start deducting your devices like the air filters and, and, uh, supply register, return grill, balancing damper, you know, that sort of thing. Um, typically when you do this math, you guys probably know from, from manual deduct design, your friction loss should be between 0.06 and 0.16. If you end up with a really high stat, uh, really high friction loss because you do the math and you have a lot of available static, like 0.25 or higher, you probably have to design around a lower starting static pressure. And it's usually medium speed, 0.5, somewhere in that range with an air handler. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that answers the question about available static. You don't have to look up a component pressure loss of an of a, a coil that's part of an air handler that's already part of the box that shipped with the blower. You do have to look it up if you're adding it to a furnace and you most likely are going to have to design around a much higher speed or a much higher static pressure um, in order to uh, overcome that additional loss because it's not part of the box ship with the blower. Hi, I'm Chris with HVAC Pro Blog, and I want to thank you for watching my videos every week. If you'd like to help support our channel more, head over to my Patreon page where I have options for as little as $8 a month. If you'd like to join the HVAC Design Society and get your questions answered, like I just showed you, we do this monthly for our elite members. So a special shout out to all those HVAC Design Society members in order to help feed us with content and supporting the channel while getting your questions answered. Thanks for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.